These are the highlights of India's smartest podcast, The Ranveer Show. Welcome to TRS Clips. Make sure you hit that bell icon and don't forget to subscribe. Ha. Huh. So now, uh, the actual name uh, of a wormhole is uh, Einstein Rosenberg Bridge. So okay. it's actually a bridge between mm. two points in space or in dark. It's two points in time. Uh, dark has completely like a science fiction level. Mm. So let's not go there. But uh, black holes. Now black holes are so mysterious that around 100 years ago, Einstein came up with a concept of black hole mm. where all the rules fail. Uh, but we did not have a proof that a black hole exists till last year. Okay. We did not have a proof hmm. that black holes exist till last year. Last year on uh, in April, we f- got the first actual photo of a black hole. Hmm. And it's like a blurry photo or it just looks like if you keep your coffee mug somewhere and you get that small patch, <laughs> it looks like that. It's a very blurry photo because hmm. it's so far away. So we got the proof right now. So now what is the link between a black hole and a wormhole? Uh, because we don't know what is inside a black hole, some people think that uh, what happens to all that matter that goes inside a black hole. Some people just think that, okay, let's let's start from the very beginning. Okay, how does a black hole form? Let's start from that. So, uh, stars form because of gravity. Like there is this huge cloud. Imagine a huge cloud of dust that just comes together because of gravity. And when it comes together because of gravity, it's majorly hydrogen that is fusing into helium. Hmm. And some elements are being formed. There is a constant tug of war over there as well between the gravity that is pulling the star inside and the nuclear fusion that is happening outside that spews out all the energy. Hmm. So what happens is this fusion keeps happening inside the star till one point after which star has iron in it. And iron does not fuse with anything else. So the star just grows heavier and heavier inside. And there are two cases over here. One case is that the uh, outside force, the nuclear fusion that is happening, that overpowers gravity and the star explodes in a supernova. Hmm. Or the gravity wins and the star implodes into a black hole. So now what is a black hole and what is the why we why do we call it black? Firstly, so... Imagine a rocket that has to uh, launch from Earth. There is a certain speed at which it has to go up. That is called as escape velocity. So if the escape velocity of any star or any object exceeds the speed of light. One one second. second. Escape velocity is the amount of velocity that an object needs to escape the gravitational pull. Yeah, the rocket, the Hmm. rocket has to go up and sideways really, really fast. Hmm. So how fast does it have to go to Hmm. enter into orbit? Hmm. To leave the... To leave the... Planet or whatever. First, any rocket enters into orbit. Hmm. It starts Hmm. orbiting around a planet and then it slingshots from the planet. It, It takes energy. I mean, at one point of time, it just uses that energy to go into another direction. That's Hmm. how rockets go. Hmm. And that's how rockets land as well. Hmm. So Chandrayaan also did not land like this. It first started uh, revolving around moon. And then it slowed down and then it slowly landed. Mm -hmm. So escape velocity is that. That the amount of speed, amount of velocity that you need to escape a planet Mm -hmm. or a star. Mm -hmm. So at one point, if the escape velocity increase uh, is more than the speed of light, Mm -hmm. then even light cannot escape it. Mm -hmm. So that's what happens with light. The light is trapped over there. Are you getting me? Yeah, yeah. That the gravitational pull is so strong that even light can't escape. Even light can't. Mm. Huh. And theoretically, nothing can go faster than light. Mm. So if you go over there, you can't go faster than light. Mm. So you will, there is only one direction you can go into. Yeah. You can't go into other direction. Yeah. So now, if there is a black hole, then possibly there is a white hole somewhere as well. Like two sides of a coin. That's what people say. That a moving black hole can be a white hole to some other dimension probably another universe as well mm. but we have not ob- not observed it this is all science fiction right mm. now. if something that was theorized 100 years ago we got the first photo last year then probably this will take even longer to figure it out mm. we have not observed it anymore mm. it's all theory yeah if you really want to exercise your science fiction muscle interstellar is the movie i will recommend like ha huh, but actually na interstellar was great to visualize everything mm. Uh, I mean, all these concepts, the dimensions and everything, it is explained really well in Interstellar. Uh, There is one more movie that I would recommend. Uh, It's called Contact. 
it's my favorite science fiction movie which talks about aliens and everything uh, our role as humanity and how humanity has matured and everything and i think it is written by carl sagan carl sagan was the guy who originally wrote cosmos mm. uh, and then it was recreated right now by neil degrasse tyson so neil degrasse tyson really admires carl sagan's work so carl sagan said something nice which is uh, if you have to create an apple pie from scratch you have to create a universe first mm. because technically speaking all the elements that we use to create an apple pie come from an explosion of a star all the atoms so nobody can take credit for creating an apple pie from scratch yeah. so that is i mean carl sagan and all these scientists they lie at a, such a such a interesting point that science and philosophy just merge together <laughs> so it's very interesting to hear all these yeah. people